HODL than Bitcoin. All right, uh, I am here with Steve Barber. Uh, you run a company. Can you let people know what the name of your company is, what you guys do? Um, take it away. Uh, our, my company is Upstream Data. Uh, we mine Bitcoin, uh, primarily focused on upstream oil and gas facilities or <laughs> oil and gas facilities in general, uh, mainly because there's a lot of waste in oil and gas production. Okay. Um, wasted energy, wasted natural gas from stranded stranded methane uh, from associated gas that you know you can't get a pipeline to due to economic reasons mm -hmm. there's other reasons why it's stranded but generally stranded energy and uh, even stranded facilities like if you have idle equipment that's not uh, not running it's not running at full load mm -hmm. um, this is equipment that you know it has emissions already uh, in the manufacturing but uh, it's not doing its full potential uh, yeah. productive output so okay. yeah Bitcoin mining is a good solution for that so uh, a lot of people they essentially they, they should on Bitcoin mining saying that it is incredibly wasteful um, yeah, right so yeah. this kind of turns that idea on its head because you're capturing waste that would either be essentially pumped into the atmosphere or would there would be an associate associated cost with um, getting an off-site or is, how does that work yeah no exactly um, well, I think what we do is a really, like I said, a really good example to debunk that fallacy. Uh, I sort of, you know, I like to say that Bitcoin mining is actually a conservation machine, a dis global distributed uh, machine for conservation. But in oil and gas production, uh, you can have stranded gas for a variety of reasons. But like we're in the in the oil fields that we work out of, uh, it's all heavy oil. We don't have pipelines. <laughs> So we truck the oil around, and because we don't have pipelines, we have it's very expensive to put in a gas pipeline, and it's not going to pay out. Yeah. So normally, what producers do is you're, they're allowed to vent a certain amount of uh, a certain rate of gas just straight into the atmosphere, straight out of the pipe. Yeah. Uh, anyone who's sort of into carbon emissions, you'll know that methane is about 25 times worse than yeah. for like heating potential than like CO2. So for like one cubic meter of gas vented uh, is 25 times worse in terms of heating the environment than let's say if you burn that gas. Yeah. So what we do is we take that energy that's stranded, plug it into power plants, mine Bitcoin, and we reduce the emissions, the CO2 equivalent emissions because we're combusting it. Yeah. But we're also monetizing it for our clients. So not only are they reducing emissions, uh, they're making money. So, so they're, you're taking a, a cost that would be a, because there's carbon tax here in Alberta on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So, so you're taking a, what would be a, a net, I, I guess it's, it's incurring a cost and you're turning that into profit for these companies. It's not just carbon tax. So yes, they'll have to pay carbon tax on their emissions. So A, we're, we're reducing the emissions. So we're reducing the amount they're taxed. They also actually, producers have to, like they're forced by regulators to conserve. Uh, so that means effectively, traditionally, like a pipeline, sell it to a pipeline, sell it to a power grid. Yeah. They have to do that even if it's negative $50,000 net present value. So if, if you're the producer, you still have to spend the money even if you're guaranteed to lose money. Like, wow. so, and usually they actually lose a lot more than that. Yeah. Uh, because the nature of oil production you might have a prolific oil well, yeah. and then all of a sudden it just drops off a cliff because it, what we call it in Canada, it waters out. Yeah. So, okay. so Bitcoin mine is a great solution for that because you can drop your mining rigs on site mm -hmm. where the energy is located, and as soon as, for whatever reason, if, if uh, maybe you just have to shut it in temporarily due to weather conditions like flooding, yeah. you can get, uh, you can pick up that skid, move it elsewhere, mm -hmm. and reutilize it. So there's, it's a complete like complete conservation of something we haven't been able to conserve yeah. in like over a hundred years. And so what does the profit margin on something, like what does it do to to a, a business uh, when you enact this kind of thing on your well? Well, currently they, um, they're making no money on their that energy yeah. as it is. Uh, you know, the reason they're not putting pipelines in is because it's not, it doesn't pay out. So. Generally, what they do, they, they're sort of forced to, um, if they're venting too much, they have to flare it. So they'll, yeah. they'll spend money on a flare and they make zero money. Yeah. So the, you justify those economics on the fact that you get to keep running your oil well. Yeah. So where we come in is 
and, and we sort of offer a couple things like you can either purchase the skid direct mm -hmm. like just like we're a bit main and we're building asics you can buy the asic like you can buy our skids yeah or you can what we offer is we'll uh we'll put the skid on your site at zero cost to the producer uh we mine the bitcoin and we we work out either some form of power purchase agreement yeah um there's different variations depending on the situation but yeah okay so awesome it's, it's a it's a, it's a complete win in every regard for a producer yeah and you you, you kind of uh spitballed some some potentials and profit did you want to speak about that uh yeah like um you know i, I even if you go on like my website i enter my twitter i always publish like i'm I, I like to publish uh the current profitability of like an asic yeah so it's really easy for anyone that understands mining economics to figure out what kind of revenue you can generate so for us it's just a matter of how much power can you generate on your site yeah um these sites depends on the scale but like we can scale it to any size mm -hmm. but our lowest uh, option right now is about 50 kilowatt mm -hmm. and for one kilowatt hour uh, depending on ASIC you're running but if you're running like older stuff like S9s you're, you're making about seven six seven cents US per kilowatt hour yeah in terms of like our skid just general payout um, it's usually in a bear market it's like 12 to 14 months yeah uh, in a bull market it's like at least in the last bull market when I was mining, my skid would have been paid off in two months. Yeah. Okay. Fair so, enough. So where can people find you? Uh, I am. Uh, I like to post on Twitter uh, at SG Barber. Yeah. Uh, my company is also post on Twitter, Upstream Data Inc. Okay. And my website is uh, UpstreamData.ca. Perfect. Go check them out. I'll have links to all that down below. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely.